in trigonometry all our reference point start from this line if i'm given an angle i have to count like this considering the given angle if the angle is larger than 360 i have to go like this round and when i get to 360 i stop i will check the angle remaining then i will go again for example consider 430 degrees is greater than 360 hence i will start my movement from here i will go this way round the circle 360 when i get here i will now say 430 minus 360 and what is remaining is 70 so i will go again 70 and stop here this angle is equivalent as if i start from here then go like this until i touch that line of 70 degrees from here and this is minus 290 degrees now let's check if the coterminal angle of 45 degrees is the same as minus 315 degrees now let's check this will give you root 2 over 2 and this will give you root 2 over 2 the same answer this will give you root 2 over 2 and this will give you root 2 over 2 same result this will give you 1 and this will give you 1 you can see that the coterminal angle of 45 degrees is same as minus 315 and the coterminal angle of 45 degrees is same as minus 315 and the coterminal angle of 45 degrees is same as minus 315 why the minus if we go towards this direction from here it is positive if we go against the convention we'll write the angle but we include a negative let's consider another example find the coterminal angle of 415 degrees so we are going to start from here this is the line the starting line so we go all this way 360 so we are going to have 415 minus 360 if you subtract this we have 55 so we have 55 more to go we go like this 55 and this is 55 again we can go the other way round the other way around you are going to get 360 minus 55 this is 305 however because you went the other way around you are going to give it a negative this negative shows that you actually went against the convention is sign 55 same as sign minus 305 and is it same as the given question if yes then it is coterminal same with cos 55 cos 305 and cos 415 same with term 55 term 305 and term 415 if all are the same answers then they are coterminal all are the same try this out on your own find the coterminal angle of cos 780 here i will concentrate just on the cos i'm not after sign i'm not after tan so the first thing i need to do is i will start from this line i will go around like this and my first is 780 minus 360 and i got 4 
20. I will still go round again because it's greater than 360. I'm back here again. I will subtract by 360 again. This time around, I have 60. So I will just go by 60 and I will cut it off here. And this is 60 degrees remaining. Hence, I will check if cos 60 is the same thing as my given question, which is cos 780. And is it the same thing as if I now decide to go against this convention like this, the other way around, which is minus 300? Is it the same thing as cos minus 300? This is half, this is half, and this is half. But if you check the option, the first thing you need to do is take away anything that has a sign in it. So A and C are out of the question. I will consider B and D because they got a cost. Next, I don't need this because it's not in the option, even though it's the answer. I don't need this because it's not in the option. I need just this without the negative. My answer is evaluate sign 1300. The first thing you do in this question is this is sign. Because I have sign, I will eliminate A and I also will eliminate D because they have cost. I will consider just B and C. This is my reference point. So I will now go 1. So it's going to be 1300 minus 360. I see greater than 360. So I will go again the second time. I will subtract by 360. So I will go again. It's still greater than 360. I will subtract again. Now it's less than 360, but greater than 180. So I will subtract from 180. And I have 40. So with this 40 now, so remaining 40. So I'm coming in here 40. Ended up having 40 here. You can see 40 here fell in this quadrant. In this quadrant, sign is negative. Hence, in between these two signs, this is my answer. I will see you in the next video.